What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on the channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound. And the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. Links in the description below. Check them out. Let me know what you think. And I appreciate the support. All right, guys, we actually have the ability to swap Solana for SPS now. There has been a makeshift bridge. Again, SPS has not been bridged out to the uh, to the chain just yet, um, to Solana. But we do have access now through Hive Engine, as Hive Engine recently added Solana as a cryptocurrency that they offer a kind of like pegged version of here, similar to swap.btc, swap.ltc, swap.eth, swap polygon, whatever it is. So you can see now when you search it up, there is a swap.sol. Now there's not much of a supply on here. I'm assuming uh, that, you know, there's, there's, probably going to be more folks over time uh, that that will be able to deposit uh, but as you can see it's it's very thin right now and the ask bid is very wide so the spread on this is not fantastic that being said it does exist now it's here and it can be something that grows in the future especially as we are now entering hopefully the fun part of the bull run so let me actually go over to the announcement because there's some details here that I think are worth sharing sharing. So here we go. This is the official announcement on the Hive Engine Discord, uh, if you're not familiar. So again, this is not Splinterlands specific. Hive Engine kind of creates that layer two that many of the other games on Hive are built on. And of course, Splinterlands has created its own L2 that is that works adjacent to, to Hive. Uh, but you can see a familiar name here, Cryptomancer, who also, who also manages Hive Engine uh, with Aggie. So Soul is available for trading on Hive Engine and Tribal Dex as swap.soul. You'll find this added to the Tribal Dex deposit and withdraw menus as with the EVM network, so Ethereum, BSC, Polygon, there is no deposit fee and a 1% withdrawal fee in addition to Solana network transaction fees, which are very small. Uh, the first time you deposit, you will need to link your Solana address to your Hive account in much the same way you do for EVM networks. You must have at least 0.001 Hive in your Hive wallet to complete this process. To do so, copy and paste your Solana address into the indicated field and hit the update button, then confirm the resulting uh, wallet prompts. Wait 30 seconds or so, then refresh the screen and you should be able to see your available balance appear. Note that in order to deposit, you will need to use a supported web wallet. We have confirmed that Phantom, Brave, and XDeFi wallets are compatible with Tribal Dex. Other wallets may work well, but we can't guarantee support for any others. Um, and this is further note, some wallets may warn that Tribal Dex is unsafe. These messages may look alarming, but rest assured Tribal Dex is safe and you can ignore such warnings at your own peril, of course. Uh, we will work with the individual wallet providers to get Tribal Dex listed as a safe site. So this is actually something that I was hoping for for a very, very long time just because Solana, I mean, Solana is, or at least seems to be once again, the darling of the crypto bull run. Uh, you know, last, um, the last bull run in 2021, it was following the trajectory that ETH had. There was so much excitement. There was so much volume happening there. It built up its own collection of all these different NFTs to compete with Ethereum. And we're kind of seeing that once again. I mean, Solana, Solana just hit a new all-time high this cycle before ETH did, which is kind of crazy. So I, I think that this is an important thing. Uh, I think that this is going to be something worth uh, something something worth noting, at least for the future. Again, the liquidity may not be there right now. And for those of you distracted by the fact that my picture is no longer moving, I apologize, but we're just going to finish this video out. <laughs> Must have frozen when I switched screens. But... Um, that being said, the, the fact that the bridge now exists for me just seems that like we were we are going to get more volume on that in the future. So if you want to, you can. I mean, there is the option now. Uh, it probably will take some folks coming in and actually depositing some Solana on there. So we have more swap.sol can increase the liquidity and see how that goes. But my expectation is, um, and probably not this year, hopefully into next year at some point, that SPS itself will actually be bridged out to the Solana chain. Uh, we're seeing a lot of other games, uh, Parallel being 
one of the big ones that I also cover and follow on this channel, which is bridging out to Solana. Their Prime token is going to be bridging out to Solana, and Parallel Colony is going to be launched on Solana. So there's a lot happening on that chain, gaming-wise and just DeFi-wise and NFTs. Like it's it's still a very happening chain. Obviously, it's still very hot at this point in the new bull run, and I highly doubt that we are going to see. You know, well, you know, I, I don't want to make any predictions here. I was going to say I highly doubt it's going to fade away, but who knows? It's it's crypto projects come and go. Everything, uh, you know, pumps and dumps and dies. So we, you never know. But at the moment, at the very least, you are able to get assets from Solana into the game now, along with Ethereum, BSC, Polygon. So I, that, this is a huge win, in my opinion, and hopefully we will see more extensions and more bridges to the Solana network for Splinterlands in the future. But at least you have this for now. Let me know if you have any thoughts, questions. Uh, that is all I have for you guys. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.